now we're going to have a look on the nominal rate and the effective rate. But for now, let's start with the, the nominal rate. If we have a look at this example, it says 2,000 invested for one year at 18% per annum compounded monthly. If we have a look at 18% per annum, this is just a, a, a quoted rate as, a, as an annual rate. So now, let's just ignore the last information which says uh, compounded monthly. Let's just have a look if this 18% was not compounded monthly, just 18% per annum. What amount will you get at the end? Do you remember our formula? We have A equals to 2000, open up the bracket. It's 1 plus the decimal place, which is 0 0.18 to the power of 1, because it's only once a year. So what do we get out of that? We'll have 2360. This is without compounded monthly. It's just per annum. So now let's look at it if now it is compounded monthly. And of course the most important thing here is that the compounding monthly, that's going to do something. What do you, I wonder what's going to happen. I don't know. I wonder if let's see what let's, will let's see. Shall we go? Let's, let's see this. And this is very interesting. Right. If we introduce 18% per annum compounded monthly, very, very important, what's going to happen here? Well, if you, if you just draw a timeline, let's just quickly see what happens here. These are very, very important at school level. Very, very important to draw this. We're going to really work up in months and go to T12. So what really happens is that the 2,000 Rand that we invest, is there's going to be interest calculated on that for a whole year, but monthly. This is so important, very, very important. Monthly, as, as Mvula has, has said very clearly, monthly is at the end of January, end of February. And do you agree from the last lesson, the money goes in, you know, at the end of the year, goes into the next year, interest is worked on that. And that's, that's the amazing thing. Exactly. Now look what happens here, let's go back. Let's see if we're going yeah. to have the difference. Okay, let's use our formula where we have A is equals to 2000, We'll open the bracket, 1 plus. Very, very important. Decimal, which is 0 0.18, divide by what? 12, because you're getting interest 12 times a year to the power of 12. Okay? So if we do this with your calculator, we will get 2391,24. This interest rate is what we call, what do we call this? We call this a nominal rate. Absolutely, nominal interest rate. It's a quoted rate. It's a quoted annual rate, but it actually didn't didn't take into effect the compounding. The compounding makes the money grow. Notice as an annual rate, 18 percent, you produce 2,360 rand. But guess what happens is when you bring the compounding in, this 18 percent is um, going to do something for you. In fact, it makes the money grow. And um, yeah, we need to look at this. I've got some ideas here, which I want to do quickly. Let's 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 move back to this. And so, can you clearly see? There's the annual rate, eighteen percent. But the moment you bring in compounding, man, this gets very very exciting. You're starting to make more money because you've divided by twelve, and you've you've got an exponent of twelve, which is very very cool. Okay, really, what's happened is. And Vela, his, if, if we look at this situation again, let's just have a look here. I want to show you something. If you, if you actually look at this, and Vela has got interest being calculated every single month at the end of the month. But the problem is that um, he's going to get like a bank statement every month. And I'm saying to myself, no, I really don't want to, I don't, I don't want to get a bank statement at the end of every month. I want to get the interest worked out at the end of the year. Now have a look at this. In other words, what I'm saying, and Vela probably, he invested every, you know, the 2,000 Rand and got interest every single month. And he, of course, makes his 2,391 Rand 24 cents. Beautiful. But I don't want a monthly interest rate. I don't want a monthly interest rate. I want to be able to invest my 2,000 Rand, but at the end of the year, 
at the end of the year after one year I don't want any calculations to happen in the year I want at the end of the year to make 2391 Rand 24 that's what I want to make but the problem is is the 18% is not going to do that okay but let me show you something we need another interest rate that's going to give us the same amount of money as the compounded monthly I want you to look at the amount of money let's just go and have a look at this okay if you have a look at this carefully can you see the 18% per annum compounded monthly produced this amount great okay but we want an interest rate that's going to produce it's almost like an annual interest rate that's going to produce the exact same amount of money now I'm going to show you something absolutely magical. This is the beauty of mathematics. Now, now, now watch this. Let's do some percentage calculations from earlier years. Should we do this? Let's do okay, it. Okay, here we go. All right, do you, want to, do you want to tell me what did we make? What was the total amount made after the We made 2,391.24 cent. Okay, so we made 2391,24. What was our starting amount? We started with 2,000. Okay, so let's see what we actually made. Now, I'm going to um, let you subtract that. What is that? So, we're going to get 391,24. Three, okay, now we've made 391 Rand 24 cents. Now, let's see what our actual, what the actual interest rate is. Let's have a look. Okay, now, as you know, probably they know this from primary school, even earlier years. If you take 391,24 and you work it as a percentage, in other words, you divide by 2,000, and um, let's see, what do we get here? We actually get a very, very interesting number. Let's do it on the calculator too. And we get a very interesting decimal, which is 0 0,19562. And as a percentage, okay, how would that work? What would be the actual rate here? if we do it so you can multiply it by 100 and that will okay. give us 19.562 percent percent very very interesting probably you agree that it's slightly higher than the 18 exactly it's not yeah. 18 yeah but tell me more what are you going to do with this okay let me show you something beautiful here let's go and check this out 18 percent per annum compounded monthly produced this 2391,24 great every single month it happened I didn't like that. I want my interest to be worked out once per year at the end of the year, and I wanted to give you 2391,24. Then, what we then did is we looked at, um, we subtracted these two amounts, and we worked out a, an interest rate. And now, watch this. This is the beauty of this interest rate, and it's got a very beautiful name. Are you ready for this? Okay, so now this, this interest rate is going to do something very, very wonderful. Watch this. If you take this this 19,5, if you have a look at this 19,562, very awesome. If we now look at this interest rate, watch this. This is very, very cool. There's my 2,000, and I want to get, I actually want to get 2,391,24. Now watch this. If I look at my final amount, that's at the end here, of the 2,000, now watch here, 1 plus naught comma remember we work that as a decimal so it's, we divide by 100 naught comma one nine five six two and we go over a period of a year we're doing exactly what we would have done with the 18 percent guess what are you ready for this south africa check this out <laughs> uh, this, this is so cool watch this this is gonna blow your mind 2000 open bracket one plus naught point one nine five six two close the bracket and of course you can raise it to power one not necessary equals guess what exactly the same amount isn't that beautiful oh, we're getting the same answer yeah that's so interesting